two weeks investigation. So now you are trying to tell tell the private Michael, investigator you, you know more up. than him now, you right? Shut the up. Skyla. Yes. Uh, I'm going out. Gotta go sit down. Angela. I'll see y'all later. Okay. I ain't doing this no more. I think Angela is bringing a lot of problems to Michael. And um, with what I'm seeing, Angela is uh, very selfish because I think she likes doing whatever she wants to do. I think really it has to do with the HD friends because Angela's older than Michael. She thinks she can just impose law on him. See where I am now. Welcome back. The reality television show 90 Day Fiancé has captivated audiences with its dramatic portrayal of intercultural relationships. One of the most controversial and intriguing couples to emerge from the series is Michael and Angela. While their on-screen dynamic has been widely discussed, a lesser-known aspect of their story involves a significant financial dispute. Michael, a Nigerian native, joined the show to be with his American fiancée, Angela. During his time on the program, he expressed dissatisfaction with his earnings, claiming that he was underpaid compared to other cast members, including Angela. His complaints were seemingly ignored by the show's producers, leading to growing resentment and frustration. Despite Michael's concerns, 90 Day Fiancé continued to enjoy immense popularity. Many viewers attributed the show's success to the dramatic and often contentious interactions between Michael and Angela. This, however, did not alleviate Michael's feelings of exploitation, particularly given his perception that his presence was instrumental in the show's ratings. Michael's dissatisfaction with his compensation eventually escalated into a legal dispute. He alleged that the show's producers had violated labor laws and unfairly exploited his participation. After months of negotiations and potential legal action, Michael reportedly reached a financial settlement. The terms of the agreement were not publicly disclosed, but sources indicated that the settlement was substantial enough to significantly improve Michael's financial situation. Throughout the ordeal, Angela's behavior towards Michael was a subject of scrutiny. Some viewers accused her of being manipulative and controlling, suggesting that she may have influenced Michael's decision to accept the settlement. There were also speculations that Angela may have exerted pressure on Michael to remain silent about the dispute, potentially to protect her own image and financial interests. For a long time, Michael kept his grievances to himself, fearing that speaking out would jeopardize his role on the show and, by extension, his chances of building a life with Angela in the United States. He continued to participate, albeit reluctantly, accepting his meager pay because he believed it was the only way to achieve his long-term goals. The pressure of being in a toxic relationship, compounded by the financial exploitation, weighed heavily on him, yet he soldiered on, hoping that things would eventually improve. Behind the scenes, Michael's dissatisfaction began to grow. He confided in a few close friends and family members in Nigeria, expressing his frustration over the situation. They encouraged him to stand up for himself and demand fair treatment, but Michael hesitated, knowing that any conflict with Angela could further complicate their relationship and his future. He was caught in a difficult position, wanting to assert his rights, but fearing the consequences of doing so. The turning point came after a particularly heated argument with Angela, where she belittled him once again for daring to question their financial arrangement. Angela reportedly told Michael that he should be grateful for what he had, that he was just a Nigerian who should take whatever was offered to him without complaint. This incident, which left Michael feeling deeply humiliated, was the catalyst for him to finally take action. Determined to secure the compensation he rightfully deserved, Michael decided to seek legal advice. He quietly began to gather evidence of his contributions to the show, including ratings data that showed how much viewership spiked during episodes featuring his interactions with Angela. He also documented the disparity in pay between him and Angela, as well as other cast members, making a compelling case that he was being unfairly treated. Michael's legal team initiated discussions with the show's producers, presenting them with the evidence and demanding that Michael be compensated fairly. Initially, the producers were dismissive, confident that Michael wouldn't risk jeopardizing his role on the show by pursuing the matter further. However, as the legal pressure mounted and the potential for bad publicity loomed, they began to take his demands more seriously. Angela, who had always been in control of their relationship, was reportedly furious when she found out about Michael's legal actions. She had always seen herself as the dominant partner, the one who made the decisions and called the shots. 
The idea that Michael was challenging her and the show was both shocking and infuriating to her. She tried to manipulate him into dropping the case, using emotional and psychological tactics that had worked on him in the past. But this time, Michael was resolute. He had finally reached his breaking point and was no longer willing to be bullied into submission. As the legal battle dragged on, the tension between Michael and Angela grew. Their once tumultuous relationship became even more strained, with Angela accusing Michael of betrayal and greed. She couldn't understand why he was making such a big deal out of the money, especially when, in her eyes, he should have been grateful for the opportunity to be on the show at all. But for Michael, this was about more than just money. It was about respect and fairness. He had given years of his life to the show, endured public humiliation, and put up with Angela's mistreatment, all while being grossly underpaid. He was no longer willing to accept being treated as less than his worth. After months of negotiations, Michael's persistence paid off. The producers, recognizing the validity of his claims and wanting to avoid a potential scandal, agreed to a substantial settlement. Michael was finally paid what he deserved, receiving a sum that not only compensated him for past injustices, but also set him up for a better future. The amount was reportedly large enough to allow him to make significant improvements in his life, both in Nigeria and potentially in the United States if he chose to continue his relationship with Angela. The victory was bittersweet for Michael. On one hand, he finally received the recognition and compensation he deserved, but on the other, his relationship with Angela was more fractured than ever. Angela's attempts to belittle and control him had backfired, leaving her angry and resentful. She saw Michael's newfound financial independence as a threat to her power over him, and their already fragile relationship began to crumble even further. Despite the personal cost, Michael felt a sense of relief and vindication. He had stood up for himself, refusing to be exploited any longer, and had come out on top. The financial settlement allowed him to plan for the future with more confidence, whether that meant continuing his relationship with Angela or finally breaking free from the toxic dynamic that had defined their lives for so long. In the aftermath of the settlement, Michael began to explore new opportunities. With his newfound wealth, he considered investing in businesses back in Nigeria, helping his family, and possibly even using his platform to advocate for others who had been treated unfairly. The experience had changed him, making him more aware of his own value and less willing to tolerate being disrespected. As for Angela, she struggled to come to terms with the shift in their relationship. No longer able to control Michael through financial means, she found herself increasingly isolated and insecure. The power dynamic that had once defined their relationship was now gone, leaving her unsure of how to proceed. Her attempts to assert her dominance only pushed Michael further away, as he was no longer willing to put up with her behavior. The situation became a turning point in both of their lives. Michael, empowered by his victory, began to see himself in a new light. He was no longer just Angela's Nigerian boyfriend, but a man who had fought for his rights and won. This newfound confidence opened up new possibilities for him, both personally and professionally. Angela, on the other hand, was forced to confront the reality that her usual tactics of control and manipulation were no longer effective. Her relationship with Michael, once defined by her dominance, was now hanging by a thread, and she had to decide whether to change her ways or risk losing him for good. In the end, Michael's fight for fair compensation was about more than just money. It was about standing up for himself, asserting his worth, and refusing to be treated as less than he deserved. The experience transformed him, giving him the strength to finally take control of his life, regardless of what that meant for his future with Angela. And while the outcome was uncertain, one thing was clear, Michael was no longer the passive partner in their relationship, and the balance of power had shifted forever. Thank you for watching.